AQA Physics 1 Complete Revision Notes. Feel free to pause the video and make notes. I would advise that you download this video as an MP3 file and listen to it when you ever can. Make sure you understand what is being said. This is the most important thing. Energy is transferred between objects in contact when one object is at a higher temperature than another. Infrared radiation is the transfer of energy by electromagnetic waves. All bodies emit and absorb infrared radiation, and the hotter the body, the more infrared radiation it emits. Dark matte surfaces are good at absorbing and emitting infrared radiation and poor at reflecting it. White shiny surfaces are good at reflecting infrared radiation. They are poor at absorbing and emitting radiation. The properties of solids, liquids and gases are a result of the arrangement of the particles and the strength of the bonds between them. Energy is needed to melt a solid or evaporate a liquid. This energy is released when a liquid freezes or a gas condenses. The temperature of a liquid or gas dep depends on the mean speed of the particles. When part of a liquid evaporates, the mean speed of the particles that are left behind is lower, so the remaining liquid is colder. Evaporation happens faster at higher temperatures when there is a bigger surface area and when the evaporated particles are moved away from the liquid. Condensation happens faster at lower temperatures. Thermal energy is transferred through solids by conduction. Heating causes particles in a solid to vibrate faster and further, and these vibrations are passed on through the solid. Metals are good conductors because free electrons also transfer thermal energy. Liquids and gases are generally poor conductors, which, mean, which means that they are good insulators. Materials containing trapped air are good insulators. Energy can be transferred through fluids by convection. When part of a fluid is heated, the particles move faster. It becomes less dense and rises. Cooler fluid moves in to take the place of the heated fluid, setting up a convection current. Convection currents can also form when part of a fluid is cooled. Different materials and objects transfer thermal energy at different rates. The bigger the temperature difference, the greater the rate of energy transfer. The rate at which an object transfers energy depends on its shape and dimensions, its mass, the material it is made from, and what it is in contact with. Objects can, can be designed to reduce or increase the rate of energy transfer. Energy bills can be reduced by adding insulation to a house or using solar panels. The payback time is how long it takes to save the cost of an insulation and reduced energy bills. The U-value of a building material or component is a measure of how effective it is as an insulator. The lower the U-value, the better the insulator. Houses can be designed to need less energy for heating. The energy transferred when the temperature of a material changes depends on its mass, the temperature change, and the material from which it is made from. The specific heat capacity of a material is the energy needed to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of the material by 1 degree. Heat transferred equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. Materials with a high specific heat capacity are used for heat sinks, storage heaters, and central heating systems. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. 
energy can be transformed from one form to another. When energy is transformed, only some of it is transformed into a useful form. Wasted energy is usually thermal energy. Wasted energy spreads out into the surroundings and is no longer useful. The energy transfers made by a machine can be represented using a Sankey diagram. Efficiency is a measure of the amount of energy transferred into useful forms. Efficiency can be calculated using values for energy or power. Efficiency equals useful energy out over total energy in times by 100%. Or efficiency equals useful power out over total power in times 100%. Reducing wasted energy saves money and by reducing the amount of fossil fuels we use, reduces the amount of carbon dioxide we put into the atmosphere. We can reduce energy consumption by using more efficient appliances and reducing the temperature. The amount of wasted heat energy from a building can sometimes be reduced using heat exchanges. Energy used in transport can be reduced by walking, cycling, using public transport, and replacing old vehicles with new, more efficient models. Everyday electrical devices can bring about many different types of energy transformation. The energy used by an appliance depends on its power and how long it is switched on. The power of an appliance is the rate at which it transforms energy. E equals P times T. Energy is measured in joules or kilojoules. Power is measured in watts or kilowatts. One watt equals one joule per second. Time is measured in seconds or hours. The energy used by an appliance can be worked out using the power rating in kilowatts and the time in hours. A kilowatt an hour is the amount of energy transferred by a one kilowatt device in one hour. It is also called a unit. The cost of electricity is the energy used in kilowatts an hour, multiplied by the cost per kilowatt an hour. There is often a choice of electrical devices for the same application. When choosing an appliance, things to consider include the cost of running it and whether it is more powerful than necessary. Battery operated devices are useful if there is no main supply available. Clockwork or solar powered devices are cheaper to run than battery powered devices and are useful where the supply of batteries may be limited or too expensive. Steam turns a turbine which turns the generators. Coal, oil and natural gas are fossil fuels and are non-renewable. In some gas-fired power stations, the hot gases made when natural gas is burnt are used to turn turbines directly. Uranium and plutonium are nuclear fuels. They are radioactive and non-renewable. Biofuels can be burnt in some power stations. They are made from plants, waste plant products, or animal wastes. Biofuels are renewable resources. Burning fossil fuels causes waste gases to be emitted. Some of these gases are removed, but at present a lot of carbon dioxide is put into the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide could be captured and stored. Natural gas is a cleaner and more efficient fuel than coal. Crops take in carbon dioxide when they grow, and this is released when they burn, so no carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere overall. Growing crops and making biofuels required energy, so this part of the process does add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Nuclear power stations do not add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Nuclear power stations are expensive to build 
and to decommission because of the safety precautions needed. Nuclear waste remains radioactive for thousands of years. Electricity can be generated from the wind using wind turbines. Moving water can be used to turn turbines, including hydroelectricity, tides and waves. Solar cells convert light energy from the sun directly into electricity. Solar towers can produce electricity by focusing sunlight onto a furnace to make steam or by using heat from the sun to set up a convection currents within the drive turbines. Geothermal energy uses steam from volcanic areas to turn turbines. Renewable energy resources can cause visual and noise pollution. Reservoirs, tidal barges and growing crops for biofuels can all destroy habitats for wildlife. Growing crops for biofuels can also affect food supplies for humans. Reservoirs produce carbon dioxide from rotting vegetation when they are first flooded. Geothermal power stations release some carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. Electricity is sent around the country by the national grid. Step-up transformers increase the potential difference and reduce the current. Step-down transformers reduce the potential difference and increase the current. The energy wasted as heat depends on the current, so potential differences are increased to reduce heat losses. Power equals potential difference times current. Cables can be overground or underground. The demand for electricity varies during the day and during the year. Demand is highest during the day and in the early evening. Hydroelectric power stations can provide electric electricity within a minute. It takes some time to start the power stations from cold, so they are often left running. Spare electricity is used at night to pump water up to the top reservoirs and pumped storage power stations. Electricity companies try to persuade us to use less electricity during the day and more at night by having different prices for different times of day. Waves transfer energy. Waves do not transfer matter. In longitudinal waves, the oscillations are parallel to the direction of energy transfer. In transverse waves, the oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. Longitudinal waves have compressions and refractions. Transverse waves have crests and troughs. Sound waves are longitudinal. Electromagnetic waves are transverse. Mechanical waves can be transverse or longitudinal. The frequency of a wave is the number of cycles per second. Frequency is measured in hertz. The wavelength is the length of one complete wave. The amplitude is the maximum displacement. Wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. The wave speed depends on the medium. At an interface between materials, all waves can be reflected or refracted. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. All waves are diffracted as they pass through gaps if the gap size is similar to the wavelength. Diffraction is greatest if the width of the gap equals the wavelength. Electromagnetic waves in order of increasing energy are radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. When electromagnetic waves are absorbed, they have a heating effect. Powerful electromagnetic waves are harmful. Metal reflects light and infrared radiation. Radio waves are used to transmit television and radio signals. Microwaves are used for satellite television, mobile phones and Bluetooth. The ionosphere reflects radio waves, which cannot pass through it. 
Microwaves need line of sight transmitters as they are not diffracted round hairs. Metals can be used to absorb radio waves. Metal reflects microwaves. Radio microwaves have a heating effect. Bluetooth uses low power microwaves to connect devices over a short range. Mobile phones are new technology, so scientists are still researching the long-term effects of microwaves for mobile phones. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. The image in a plane mirror is upright and virtual. Visible light is used in photography. The image formed by a camera is real and inverted. Optical fibers transmit light and infrared radiation. Optical fibers transmit more information more securely than copper cables. Infrared radiation is used in remote controls. Sound is a longitudinal wave. Sound needs a medium in which to travel. The pitch is the frequency. Sound can be reflected, refracted and diffracted. If a source of waves moves towards the observer, the wavelength decreases and the frequency increases. If a source of waves moves away from the observer, the wavelength increases and the frequency decreases. The Doppler effect happens for all waves including sound, light and microwaves. For electromagnetic waves, a decrease in wavelength is called blue shift and an increase in wavelength is called redshift. Light from almost all galaxies is redshifted. The further away the galaxy, the bigger the redshift. The redshift of galaxies is evidence that the universe is expanding. The Big Bang theory is that the universe began from a very small initial point about 14 billion years ago. The redshifts of galaxies and the cosmic microwave background radiation are evidence for the Big Bang Theory. Cosmic microwave background radiation is radiation that fills the universe and arrives from all directions. This is currently only explained by the Big Bang Theory. A hypothesis is used to make predictions. If the date supports the predictions, the hypothesis becomes a theory. And that's about it. That's the whole of P1. P2 shall be coming soon as well as P3. So I hope this video helped and good luck with your exams.